Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm not cooking, I'm going to do a product review of this monster. It's an air fryer oven made by Hauswert, which is uh, German for house is house, and Wert is worth or value, so you know, value house sort of thing. And they were kind enough to send me this, so this is uh, basically a sponsored video. So let's unpack it. You don't want to see me getting stuff out of boxes, especially big heavy stuff like this. But uh, here's the shipping box that it came in, and this is the actual box. And this is what's inside. I, I did, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've had a sneak unwrap already, because I'm like that. But I couldn't get it back together again. <laughs> anyway, so what you get is, ooh, a couple of bits of polystyrene. You get the user manual in several languages. You get a wire tray and a steel handle for the rotisserie. Oh yes, there's also a rigid tray. Gold, that's unusual. And an open glove, that is a nice touch. So, uh, all right, let's get the, let's debag it. All right, lovely plastic bag, plastic type four, recyclable. UK plug, I guess if you buy it from a different country, you get a different kind of plug. This thing here stops you pushing it right up against the wall because you need to have good ventilation all around it or you'll get problems. All right, lots of sticky tape. All right, and well, more sticky tape and a couple of bits of cardboard. Okay, more goodies inside. Now you see this, this is a crumb tray and I've, I've read reviews where people have been uh, a bit uh, critical because you do need to have this positioned so that the, the handle will go over the edge, the tabletop or whatever, where you keep it, otherwise the door doesn't open properly flat. And those two rods are actually heating elements. Let's open this little box. I know what's in here, but you don't. Da, da, da. <laughs> it's uh, it's a rotating frying basket for like chips or maybe chicken nuggets or possibly fish fingers or popcorn. And also sort of fork things to hold a chicken in place while you rotisserate it. <laughs> All right, we need to investigate further. Right, so there's the cable, about a metre. It should be plenty. Now, the first time you use it, it has an oily coating inside. So you've got to run the oven empty to kind of burn that off. Take out all the packaging, shelves and everything, and use the control knob. If you press the top bit, you can set the temperature. So temperature as high as it'll go. And then the timer, 20 minutes. Press the go button to start and it'll stop after 20 minutes. So I'll just have a little run through the controls. This first one is heat from the top, next one is heat from those two elements on the bottom. Uh, this is heat with the fan and this is air fry which is heat from the top with the fan. This is the temperature it's set to, this is the time it's set to, this is preheat that is the rotisserie, this is the light on and off, or vice versa, and this is go, pause. These settings are, these are preset for cake, toast, pizza, chips, cookies, baguette, steak, chicken, whole chicken, uh, chicken drumsticks, potato, vegetable, bacon, fish, shrimp, barbecue, sausage and this one's interesting dehydrator you can actually use this to dehydrate slices of um, citrus fruits or bananas or you know grapes anything you like really the warming function and defrost function and also of interest to me fermentation function which is for uh, basically proving bread dough Temperature setting, time setting, 
actually changing the numbers. This is a little user manual in several different languages. The usual warnings, names of the bits, a rundown of control panel, and the elements that you get with it. Containers that you can use. Uh, don't forget, it's not a microwave, so you can use metal. They don't supply a recipe book, but there are recipes online on their website. So I'll put a link to that down below somewhere. All right, I'm quite excited about the rotisserie feature because I've never actually used one. So what you get is uh, you've got a shaft, which is a square profile, and one end of it fits into the motor drive. And you also get this handle, which you can use to lift it out after you've cooked the stuff and it's, and it's too hot to touch. <laughs> a bit fiddly, but yeah, it works. And then, I've not actually tried to do a whole chicken. Uh, I think you would need a pretty tiny one, but I, I did actually do some chicken thighs, which are tied onto the shaft with string. And then you can use these, these clamps or these, these kind of forky bits to uh, stop it spinning around. So you can just, you know, ram that into the meat or whatever. Or the other thing is this basket, which um, I'm going to use. I'm going to do some chips and some fish fingers. <laughs> so the shaft goes all the way through. And then, I, I, I don't know if you actually need to secure this, but you can use one of these if you want. So I'll tighten that up, that stops it from moving up and down. There's the door, and yeah, yeah, frozen chips. <laughs> Some fish fingers, and and I think a little spray of oil. Okay, fish fingers, not a great idea in this because, because they're all broken and the crumbs come off. Hey ho, now we know, don't do fish fingers in it. Rotisserie, fish fingers and chips. Now, I've been using the machine for about three or four weeks now, so uh, I've done quite a lot of cooking in it and I'm, I've got to say, I am pretty impressed. Uh, <laughs> One of the first things that I did was uh, just before Christmas, I did a budget Christmas dinner for two people. Um, so nothing if not ambitious, and it turned out really well. So this is some of the things that I did. Because it was a super budget meal, I used a turkey roll, I cooked it for 25 minutes initially, and then added parboiled potatoes to roast for 45 minutes. Towards the end of this time, I put pigs in blankets on the wire shelf and stuffing balls and roast parsnips on the shelf underneath. The wire shelf allows fat from the sausage and bacon to lubricate the goodies below. So I use the oven to cook stuffing balls, roast parsnips, roast potatoes and pigs in blankets and of course, the turkey roll. It was a brilliant meal and all of those items only took one hour and 15 minutes. After Christmas, I made the uh, British classic roast beef and Yorkshire puddings and roast potatoes. Also, not short of ambition, and again, it turned out brilliant. Very pleased with that. I placed a big chunk of beef on a trivet of onion, celery and carrot, and basted it with plenty of duck fat. After 20 minutes at high temperature, I turned it down somewhat and added some parboiled potatoes to roast. Again, plenty of duck fat to make them nice and golden and this wasn't intended to be a healthy meal, it was full on flavour. When the meat is cooked, we tent it in foil and let it rest. And while that's happening, whack up the temperature of the oven and add the Yorkshire pudding batter. Stick it in the air fryer for 10-15 minutes till it's risen and golden. But be aware that the heating elements in an air fryer are in the top, so don't put the puddings in too high or you might burn them and you might need to turn them over at the end to cook the undersides for a few minutes. Then I did some baking, I made up some meat pies and baked them in the air fryer oven and uh, again, very impressive, fantastic. More baking, I made some bread, 
and I use the proving function to get the dough going before actually baking the loaf in it. And again, turned out great. And finally, more baking. Pizza! Fantastic. So there we go, the Hausvert K5 Pro air fryer oven. And uh, yeah, it's it, a lovely bit of kit, very well made and uh, works really well. Now on Amazon UK it's listed as uh, £390, but um, there is a discount code which I'll put in the description below uh, that will get you a discount and we've got codes for various Amazon sites in Europe. Sorry, you can't get this particular model outside of Europe at the moment. So I hope you've enjoyed this review, and if you want to jump on the air fryer bandwagon, you could do worse than get one of these. So, up to you, but uh, I recommend it. Go for it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.